Hi, this is Bert Stewart with a quick video uh, just to show how making scenery can be so easy. The white zone between the tracks you see there is just some sculpting mold that Charlie put on a couple of days ago and it's dried out. So now I took my basic latex brown colored paint and I'm sticking it on there. I have this video speeded up four times so we can make it really quick. In real life this entire sequence took me about 10 minutes. Here we have it down four times speeded up, so it's only two and a half. You'll notice I didn't mask the track. I have just figured I'd take my chances and be careful and try not to get the paint on the track, but it worked fine. So you put down the latex, but I only did half of it because latex dries pretty quick. And what you want to do is sprinkle on some dirt and then sprinkle on some grass so that the light dirt color will poke up sometimes after we vacuum off the excess grass, which we can do after about eight hours of drying time. I started thinking I should blow some of the dirt on. You could use a card for this, but I was in a big hurry, so I just put it into my hands, see, and I just blew it onto the side just so there'd be uh, some grass sticking on the side. Then having done that, we went ahead and finished the other section with the brown paint. Like I said, you, you have to decide how much to do at a time because you want this paint to be nice and wet when you drop those little pieces of dirt and grass on it. Both of them are just standard Woodland Scenics products. You can obviously use anything you want, but you can dye your own sawdust and go to town with this. But I'm just quickly trying to make scenery in between these two tracks. And it's working great. So there's the dirt again. And then we do the, the green stuff. I didn't really need to blow it on this part because the angle was less steep. And then I decided to come back and do some of the other part again because I could see a little bit of wet paint still. And then to even be more finicky about it, I tapped the top of the container to make it come out. So then I put the lid back on, went clean the brush, and that's it for now. I hope you found this useful and you get out and paint some scenery. Bye.